April 7th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 15 and 16 from the Old Testament. Lord, who may be a guest in your home? Who may live on your holy hill? Whoever lives a blameless life does what is right and speaks honestly. He does not slander or do harm to others or insult his neighbor. He despises a reprobate, but honors the Lord's loyal followers. He makes firm commitments and does not renege on his promise. He does not charge interest when he lends his money. He does not take bribes to testify against the innocent. The one who lives like this will never be upended. Protect me, O God, for I have taken shelter in you. I say to you, the Lord, you are the Lord, my only source of well-being. As for God's chosen people who are in the land and the leading officials I admired so much, their troubles multiply. They desire other gods. I will not pour out drink offerings of blood to their gods, nor will I make vows in the name of their gods. Lord, you give me stability and prosperity. You make my future secure. It is as if I have been given fertile fields or received a beautiful tract of land. I will praise the Lord who guides me. Yes, during the night I reflect and learn. I constantly trust in the Lord. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be upended. So my heart rejoices and I am happy. My life is safe. You will not abandon me to Sheol. You will not allow your faithful follower to see the pit. You lead me in the path of life. I experience absolute joy in your presence. You always give me sheer delight. Our heart should be set right. Probably should read Psalms 15 and 16 every morning before I head out. I'm thinking Psalm 15, how our heart should be set right every single day and then just joyfully giving thanks and blessings to you, God, for all that you've given us. You lead me in the path of life. I experience absolute joy in your presence. You always give me sheer delight. God, I'm just absolutely madly in love with you. I am in awe of all that you do. It is with amazement that I get to watch you work in some of the miraculous things that you do constantly every single second of every day. I watch you work in people's hearts to continually draw them to you, the faithful and the unfaithful. And it's so powerful and so moving in my heart. God, I just continue to pray for everyone listening to this right now, that they will experience absolute joy and sheer delight in you, God. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.